Hi, this is part two of using a SQL Server view to help us evaluate payables uh, transactions that are unposted and see where they're coded by using Excel as our report writer. Now this is the much uh, more technical side of it. This is where we're going to actually place the view in SQL Server and grant permissions. A couple things that are very important to note. Do not do this if you do not have SQL experience because if you're in here and you accidentally delete something or edit something you can render your system completely useless and it would require you to have a backup which brings us to point number two backup before you do anything in SQL Server those two things are extremely important so if you're not experienced in do, doing the database side and you still want to achieve this then you need to talk to your partner and get help getting it done. Do not attempt it yourself. Okay, so this is the SQL Server. Uh, I'm in uh, SQL Server 2008 Release 2 and I'm using right now the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. Now I'm also assuming at this point you have downloaded the script um, by utilizing the link uh, listed below and that works uh, for you as well. So let's do this. Here we are, we're in, I uh, already have my SQL Server instance registered, that's where my data is located, and we're going to open up the uh, expansion window for databases and we'll see all our databases out there. If you have multiple companies and you want this for all of your companies, you will need to repeat the steps for each and every individual company. I'm just going to put it in the two company right now, and if you want to know what your company ID is, in GP, you can uh, click on your administration view and under setup open up company and then you'll see the company ID right there and that will be your SQL Server database. Alright, what we're going to do is right mouse click on views and choose new view because we are going to just create a whole new view for us. And since we're going to do this based off a of script, we do not need to add a table, so let's close out the Add Table window. Now here's where you're going to want to copy the script from the PDF, and what we're going to do is place it into the SQL box and just paste it right in. Now these boxes up here will show you which pane that is located, and you may choose to only show the SQL pane, which might make it easier for you. Now, Let's execute to see if it's working for us, and then it'll open up the results pane. If you do not have any unposted payables transactions, then nothing will appear here. So you want to make sure you have some unposted transactions to test it out. Once you have your script in, we're simply going to close this window, and then it'll ask us if we want to save changes into my SQL Server instance, in this case it's called Cherry, my database is 2, and to this view one that I've created. And yes, I do want to save it. And after I say yes, it's going to ask us, what do you want the name to be? And I'm going to first give it the name view and underscore. This way I know that anything that starts with view is something that I've created. Uh, because this is actually going to go into my Great Plains database. And now I'm going to put in uh, PM work distributions because it shows me my payables works distributions and I'll click OK. And now my view is saved. If we open up the view expansion window now on the left on our navigation pane and we scroll down we're going to see our new view that we just created and the DBO's database owner so that's fine I'm leaving that there view underscore PM distribution work. Not a good idea to put uh, any kind of spaces in um, so that's why I put the underscore in. It just is, makes it a little bit cleaner. Now what we're going to want to do here is right mouse click and we'll choose properties and it'll take us to our properties windows and from here we can click on permissions and this is where we're going to grant permissions. Now you'll need to grant permission for each view to each individual GP user that you want to have access. Now I'm going to click on the search option and I am going to just type in the name, the GP username in the search option and I'll click on check names and it found it for me. If it did not find it you would get a message saying it didn't exist. How do I know which one that is? Again in GP 
you could see my, let me open a window to make it a little easier. You could see my user ID right there. So my user ID is Belinda. And I'll click OK. And now Belinda is listed as someone who I can set up permissions for. And I'm going to want to click on the grant permission for every single permission except the view tr uh, change tracking. And if you try to grant permission to that, you'll just get a message telling you that you can't grant permission there. And I'll go ahead and click on OK. That's all it takes to giving permissions. You can now close out your SQL Server database and you're set to go. That's the technical side of it. The rest, the users, individual users can handle using Excel. Hope this helps.